I'm Noah Wilson from iHollywood TV, and our next guest is starring in Passion Flicks' original movie, Afterburn and Aftershock. Please welcome actor Tyler Johnson joining us through Skype for the Skype sessions. What's up, Tyler? It's a real pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. Yo, it, it, it's an honor to have you here. Of course, I mean, this is a fun day, so we're going to have a lot of fun. We've already had a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we did before <laughs> we came on. Yes, we did. All right, Tyler. So you have been uh, able to work on some of our favorite movies, such as Men in Black 3, On the Horizon, which I, I like that one. That one's a really good one. Um, and Thank now you. Afterburn and Aftershock. So, you know, you grew up in Washington, D.C. What got you interested in wanting to pursue a career in acting and entertaining audiences? You know, for me, uh, my first love and this is going to sound put on, but it really is true, is experiential psychology. And I'm really fascinated with the human condition. So for me, uh, I really, I was looking for different outlets to be able to explore both myself and my relationship to others. Mm -hmm. And it started with a love of literature and it, it grew into a love of theater. And, and what it allows me to do is to be really the subject of my own trials and, and I, I get to put myself into different situations and learn more about both my own intrinsic inherent natural reactions but also it links me I feel like to my fellow man because I'm able to understand if put in different circumstances how I may react how I may feel I feel like I've been able to grow my compassion as a result mm -hmm. well I have to say that you did a really good job in uh, all the <laughs> films that you've been in I mean they're really just uh, so, and such an incredible cast too that you've been able to work with over the years and each film you've done all right, so let's uh, go ahead and chat a little bit about your recent project, which is Afterburn and Aftershock. I have to admit that this film is very sexy. It's a very sexy film. A little sure. se sexy film Tyler's done. <laughs> so uh, anyway, you did a phenomenal job. Uh, congratulations. Thanks. So go, uh, t tell us a little bit about the story and your character, Jax. So Jax and Jackson, um, mm -hmm. to me, is very close to me because Jackson... In a lot of his status elements, the status uh, aspects of his character and his personality were things that I aspired and I and currently do as inspire and aspire to in my own life. Mm -hmm. So uh, learning how to carry yourself with, a, with, with authority, with power, with class, with grace. You know, and I really do have to credit Tosca Musk with, with being able to imbue me with a sense of what this really, what this really means, what this world really is that Jackson exists in. So for me, it was an incredible exploration um, into a facet of society that I have not been privy to. Um, because Jackson mm -hmm. Rutledge is um, part of the most influential family in the entire United States. They have their hands in both politics and business, entertainment. And to find that confidence within myself uh, was was first and foremost uh, the task, and then secondly, it was exploring the conflict that Jackson that's inherent to Jackson's entire being, which is the conflict of ambition within him. So he has mm -hmm. both an ambition to to make his father proud, to sort of follow in the footsteps of the Rutledge name, while still having a, a fair amount of resentment towards his father. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, his heart is pulling him in a different direction. And his be behavior reflects that. And for me, to be able to play those contradictions, that was that was the right ground that I was excited for. And I feel like also in this film that uh, I feel like the uh, the audience that's watching were kind of like on a ride throughout the entire film, um, sitting on the edge of our seats, wondering what's going to happen next. Well, sure. I mean, it definitely it, the story takes a an untraditional, a rather untraditional tact. Mm -hmm. And and a lot of that has to do with the direction. You know, one thing about passion flicks that makes them unique is that they are very much about the female optic. Mm -hmm. they, that's what they like to refer to. They say that the, the majority of films are shot through a masculine optic. And one place you can see that is through uh, sex scenes. Uh, yes. When typically when a man shoots a sex scene, he shoots it in a certain way. Uh -huh. um, focusing on certain elements of the female anatomy, focusing on, on sort of the more gratuitous aspects of sex that, that he believes in, you know, whoever this may be that I'm speaking of, that his audience may want, where there are not enough sex scenes being filmed by women. And uh -huh. when, uh, when a woman films a sex scene, and this is not across the board, everybody's an individual, but this is as Tosca related to me, you know, you can see, and hopefully you can see an Afterburn Aftershock, 
it's shot differently. There's a certain grace to these to the sex scenes. I, I like to think so, mm -hmm. and um, and there's a certain uh, cagey quality. You know, you you see a little bit, but you don't see too much. There's a lot that's suggested. There's a lot that's hinted at, uh, rather than being explicitly shown. And I think that there's a real power to that. Well, hey. This is a sexy film, so we're excited. Woo! This is going <laughs> <laughs> to be a great one. All right. So, and also, you know, to point out, like, you, you were saying passion flicks. How awesome is it? Joni, Gina, and Tosca. They are like, they're like, you know, women in film. I think this is, a, you know, incredible passion flicks. You know, I, I am, and I say this with all sincerity, I am so humbled to be a part of, of that team. Mm -hmm. um, it, I've grown tremendously as a man as a result. And, and, and been able to kind of engage with my masculinity in a way that is considerate and respective of others. And I think that's something that yeah. we all know in this current climate that uh, is, is definitely necessary. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're incredible and they're rocking it too in the film business. So good for mm -hmm. them and good for you yeah. too. You're, you're, you're doing a lot of good things, so good for you. All right. You. So, uh, the, 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 you know, and also this story that's told in the uh, movie, it was a romance novel written by a New York Times bestseller author, Sylvia Day. Yes. Um, so, I mean, being able to help make this film come to life on the screen, how was that? Was it like kind of like a lot of pressure, a lot of heat? Almost certainly. I'll tell you what. Um, I, after getting the role, I turned my phone off for two days. That oh. was the first way I, I went about dealing with it. <laughs> Um, and, and really in those, in those 48 hours, what I was really doing was orienting myself to the project and to the task that was ahead of me. Mm -hmm. And, and, and it was not one to be taken lightly. Um, uh, as I mentioned before, I'm a literature fan and as a fan of literature, I know how close to our hearts the main characters are or all of the characters. And we have a certain vision of them we have a certain i uh picture of them in our minds and and it's and the wonderful thing about literature is that it is completely unique and respective to the individual mm -hmm. so you know it for me the first thing i thought was how can i be all things for all people you know uh -huh. i mean how can i be this fantastical man that sylvia day has depicted so articulately um and that 15 million people i think uh, that was the last count on how on how much it's sold have enjoyed and, and brought into their home. And I thought, how in the world is, could I uh, live up to the task? And, I, and, and ultimately, this film was done for the fans of the book. I mean, yeah. it was, I, I read the source material every night before going to bed. We brought it to set. We referenced it before shooting the scenes that were on the pages. And um, yeah, so I have to, so, and so Sylvia Day, thank you for creating such wonderful source material for us to work with. Yeah, oh my God, she's the bomb.com, honey. <laughs> Without question. <laughs> thank gosh for Sylvia Day for writing such a great book that could be turned into a movie. It's fantastic. Y'all all did mm -hmm. such a wonderful job. All right, well, Tyler, uh, I hope everyone, uh, go check it out, After Burning Aftershock. It's available on Passion Flicks today, only on Passion Flicks, so make sure you go watch it. Thank you, Tyler, for joining us. It was a lot of fun, and um, yes, go watch it. Go enjoy Thank you so much for having me. A little sexy feel, so yeah. <laughs> I'd appreciate it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, Tyler. Bye. Bye.